was boredom at first sight. You could hardly call him right. He is no one's Mr. Right. So what do I see in him? Bad, is it? Chronic. Oh, she'll come round. Not this time. Why has she uh, before? Throw me out. She's tried to, but this time it's defo. Gone by Friday or else. Haven't <laughs> <laughs> you? What about your mother's? Oh, I don't even want her to know. Why not? Because she bloody crow, won't she? My mother's just never understood me. She says I'm a messer, that I tell lies, and that I'm always causing trouble. And shut up. I never spoke. No, but you're thinking. <laughs> when I first moved out, she said that I'd be back in two months because our Pamela wouldn't put up with me. When was that? Six weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we sit down? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Why do you think it is, Malk? What? But people don't understand when you, you're just having a laugh, just kidding. Do you want me to be honest? No. I've no idea, then. <laughs> All right, but not too honest. Well, you are a messer. Well, I can't help it. So you're a compulsive messer. It's just I've got this imagination. Oh, well, you wouldn't understand, would you? You've never suffered from an imagination. It's a terrible thing. Perhaps you need surgery. <laughs> An imagination bypass operation. Well, I definitely need some it. Look, have you got no other friends you can move in with? Yeah, loads. But I wouldn't want to. I'm not that much of a messer, you know. But you do get labelled. Just one little incident at school and I was Denny's the Menies forever after. Oh, what did you do? Oh, just an innocent little bit of label swapping. The history teacher had some dirty videos hidden. And I just happened to find him when I accidentally went rooting in his desk looking for exam questions. And you swapped the labels? Yeah, with one of the geography teacher's videos. It was called Background to the Common Market. It seems sort of appropriate, really. <laughs> so next day, she's out in the corridor having a sly drag, not knowing she's left us to watch Emmanuel and the Butter Mountain. How did they know it was you? I came top in history. <laughs> Never said, but forever after, whenever there was any trouble, I was always the first to be dragged in for questioning. What, even when it wasn't you? Well, it usually was. <laughs> Brenda, why don't you make an effort? Or just try keeping your tongue under control. Hey, that's what my last fella said. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, OK, OK, I'll try. I'll really try. No more smarty remarks. What, no tricks? No messing? I'll behave. Promise? Promise. Now, let's change the subject. Tell us about life at Wearings. How's things in gentlemen's trousers? <laughs> Hiya. Mm. <coughs> it's almost ready. Mash spud. I was going to do roasties, only a pre-boiling first, and well, he sort of disintegrated after an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you want it there so you can watch kids' TV? I mean, that's all it's on at the mo. It's your favourite, only I've done them different. Fish finger kebabs. <laughs> do you want peas or anything? I did do some. No thanks. It's just as well, really. They went a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later we could have a game of marbles. 
<laughs> I, uh, I tidied up a bit. So I see. Took the curtains down the laundrette this morning. And left them in the dry too long. <clears throat> well, tomorrow I'll fix the rail a bit lower. <laughs> Where'd you get the skewers from? Top cupboard down in the jam jar. That was tips! <laughs> Size pillar, can use that for stirring paint. <laughs> oh, can't have a kitchen floor. <laughs> Polished it. <laughs> Hello, Mills 1892. Malcolm? Well, at the moment he's rounded the vet with Beethoven. No, no, no. <laughs> Just an injection. Who's speaking, please? Oh, yes. Well, he should be in any moment. Can I give him a bit? Yes, I'm his mother. Oh, a lot better, thank you. Malcolm told you about it, did he? Yes, he was just a bug. But we soldier on. <laughs> it, oh, hold on a minute. I think this might be him now. Malcolm, phone. He's just coming. <laughs> it's a young lady. Hello? <laughs> Brenda? <laughs> Why the funny voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on a minute. Uh, Beethoven's in the kitchen, still in his travel basket. How is he? Fine. Just that they had to shave all his fur off. <laughs> what? <laughs> How'd it go? What, did she relent? Fish finger kebabs? <laughs> Turps, oh no. So he's still out by Friday then? Well, Thursday, that's a bit much, isn't it? It's Malcolm who needs an injection. He's the one who's sick. Look, look don't get upset, these things happen. Yeah, look, I'll see you tomorrow night. We'll sort something out. Yeah. Oh, Brenda, I think you should tell your mother. Yeah. <laughs> that was Brenda. In trouble, is she? Certainly is. <laughs> Malcolm, is there, is there something I should know? Pardon? Well, if the girl's mother should be told, shouldn't the boys? Oh, I see. Perhaps you're right. I'd better start at the beginning. I'd better sit down. Well, you see, Mum, um, what well, Brenda's... what well, Brenda's going to have... <laughs> to find a new flat. <laughs> yes, well, I thought it was probably something like that. <laughs> you did, did you, Mum? She, uh, she sounds very nice. You must bring her round sometime. As to about my cold. <laughs> and very nicely spoken. Brenda. But she doesn't sound at all Liverpool. Mind you, not as Derek Nimmo. <laughs> Where's her family from? South End. That'll be nice for the holidays. <laughs> South End of Liverpool. Oh, heavens. Still, you better bring her. She doesn't want to come. Why not? Strikes me as you that doesn't want to ask her. Well, I must say, bird watching isn't my cup of Earl Grey, as my late husband used to say. <laughs> it's a brand of tea. No, well, you not find me getting up with the crack of dawn to go halfway across the county looking for the lesser crested nut cruncher. <laughs> it was a nut hatch. Oh, I beg his pardon. Don't suppose you see many birds around your way? Oh, quite a few, actually. <laughs> Brenda lives close to Sefton Park. Oh, yes. <laughs> what are the rates like in that area? Oh, we don't have any, but we think there may be mice in the cellar. <laughs> Would you like another cup? Yes, please. This one is a bit small. Better get her a mug. <laughs> Top shelf, but not the coronation one. Is a George the Sixth. Beethoven. He seems better today. Had his injections yesterday and it gave him a little incontinence. <laughs> I'm glad he's better. One wouldn't want one's house smelling of cat... Sugar? <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, have you seen this? Oh! <laughs> It 
it flashes. It was our, our totem, but it seems we've lost the battle. Oh, would you like a biscuit? Mother was chairperson of the Friends of Liso Lighthouse. A vice? Oh, I don't indulge. <laughs> mm, biscuits. No, I was the vice chairperson. I believe they're going to turn it into a public house. And serve light ale. No. Oh. <laughs> Malcolm. It's only recently he's taken to making these silly remarks. Very childish, I think. Very. Yes, well, uh, I'll take this lot out and you finish your tea. I'm a do it. Great. <laughs> I was surprised you wanted to come. Oh, I thought it'd be a good test of the new Brenda. It's bloody hard going. <laughs> You don't help bringing out that stupid lighthouse. Is a bit of a conversation stopper. Well, it depends where you put it. <laughs> Listen, uh, perhaps we hadn't better stay too long. You frightened our crack? No, of course not. What about tomorrow's my day off? Where'd you suggest? Uh, pictures? No. What about something special? Something that really appeals to you? Forget me. Why aren't you coming? Of course I'm coming. <laughs> But you ought to choose, and I've just got to behave. Well, anything. Yeah. Anywhere. Right. And what's more, don't tell me. Surprise me tomorrow. Hey, I know. We could go to the... Save it. Let's go. Oh, right. I'll just take these things out. I'll get our gear. Hey, Brenda. Yeah? I like both of you. Shut up. <laughs> It's the rotary engine invented by Dr. Felix Wankel. <laughs> the problem with a conventional engine is that the piston undergoes a violent change of direction at the end of each stroke. Well, just as well, really, or it'll go straight through the roof. Quite, but that's very inefficient. Well, when you think of the price of roof tiles. Brenda, what's your resolution? Sorry. Whereas here, if you look at the rotary, you'll see it produces a quite unusual motion. Stop it. She's impossible to live with. So her sister says. It's the shape of the chamber that's so ingenious, don't you think? Of course, one of the problems with the rotary is that at low throttle, you can get For hire, for special occasions. Not to you, mate. 
Oh, hello. Brenda. <laughs> Sit in, please. I'll see you later. Hey, it's fantastic, isn't it? You OK? You look as though you've been... Um... Fine. The bubbles just got up my nose. Brenda? Yeah? You got anywhere yet? Could stay here. Yeah. It's very swish. Nice view. And there's a toilet in the glove compartment. Pamela's still not speaking. No more than she has to. Oh, something will turn up. Will it? Brenda. That's me. Well, if... if nothing, um... Well, if Pamela... Well, would you like to, um... Would you like me to, um... I got you one of these. And this. In case you wanted it for a wedding. <laughs> something from the back. Something special he doesn't keep on display. He says I'll be knocked out. So he should be. What is it? Fred Flintstone's jockstrap? <laughs> what a load of junk. You know, I reckon if your Mr Backstop got a couple of scrappers in, you'd probably give him about 50 quid for that lot. Brenda. Oh, let's get out of here. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You were doing so well. I suppose I pushed you too far. Oh, don't talk wet. Look, it's my own fault. I'm far too old to change. Look, there's an obvious solution to my housing problem. At least sitting here bored out my skulls brought that home to me. Here we are. So, what do you think this is? Fred Flintstone. Brenda. <laughs> this is the scarf that Jeff Duke wore when he won the double in the Isle of Man TT in 1951. Wow. I thought it was a winter woolly for your ankle. <laughs> I okay. can't stay long. That's OK. I have a wine tasting this evening. A group of us who make our own. We gather once a month and swap specimens. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> we normally hand ours into the doctors. <laughs> uh, that's a very Brenderish remark. <laughs> you haven't relented, have you? No, she goes Thursday. Oh, uh, where? Don't know, don't care. Well, it had to happen. She's quite impossible. Oh, uh, Pamela. If things are a bit, um, tight because of reduced income, uh, you will let me know, won't you? I might be oh, able to, uh... forget it. No, but, um... Oh, I'll find someone else oh. to share. Oh, not one of your girlfriends from the office, though. That would be a bit too uh, Oh, difficult. just knock it off, will you? Let's talk about something else. Mm. Actually, I'm quite excited about this evening. <laughs> I've got a, got a particularly good parsnip to show off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a blend, really. I gave it just a, just a hint of Loganberry. That's unusual, you know, put a berry with a root. Mm, sure it is. Mm. Sylvia reckons I've excelled myself. And she should know. I tell you what, uh, next time I come round, I'll bring a bottle and, uh, and see what you think. I have a rich turnip I put down last January. Yourself? <laughs> or did you take it to the vet? <laughs> I've definitely caught something from that girl. The sooner she goes, the better. Oh, it's nothing to do with her. Just all this poncy talk about homemade plonks getting right up my nose. Sydney, I think you'd better go. Oh, no, I can stay another oh, half hour. Oh, go, huh? go now. And take Sylvia round to your frumpy frodge and friends and show them your flaming parsnip. <laughs> so I've decided I'm going. What? Oh, I feel so much better now. It's just making your mind up, isn't it? Once you've decided, it's like a weight's been lifted off you. It's like when you're bevy too long and you've got the whirlies. <laughs> you stagger home, feeling last. Stick your head down a big white telephone, shout for Ralph and you're great again. Ralph who? <laughs> Ralph! <laughs> well, I don't suppose you'd know about that. I mean, you don't go out just to get legless, do you? My, nor do I these days. I used to when I was younger, when I was just a teenager. Oh, like last year. Oh, watch it, Grandad. Age isn't just numbers, you know. It's what you've done and where you've been. And that's the answer. What is? London. I'm going to London. Just because Pamela threw you out? No. I'm ready for a change. 
I love London. It ticks at my speed. You've, uh, you've been before, lived there? Of course, loads of times. I've got mates there. I can always find a floor someplace. When were you last there, then? It was a couple of years ago now. But I'll find them. Uh, how long are you thinking of going for, then? Don't know. This time, forever, maybe. Before, it's only been a couple of weeks at a time, and then I've had to come back for a rest. But I'm older now. I've got more stamina. <laughs> of course, you've, uh, you've got nothing to come back for, have you? Exactly. Hiya! You here on your own? Yeah, he's gone home. Good. I won't be disturbing anything, then. You're early. Do you want a coffee? That's nice. Well, no thanks. I would have stayed clear for you, but I've reached a decision. What, that you don't want a coffee? Very good. I've got to get going. Bren. Yeah? Could we talk? To each other, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for what's happened. And you're dead right. I am a pain. But there's no point in me trying not to be, because I just cock things up. People get knocked, and I get miserable. Brenda, so now let out. me finish. So I've decided I'm going to London. London? Tonight. If I catch the midnight, I'll have the old day to look for somewhere. But you don't know anything. Look, and I know you said I'll buy Thursday, but once you've made your mind up, there's no point hanging around, is there? Well, no, I suppose not. Thanks for putting up with us, Pam. You're all right, really. I've got you these. And uh, promise I'll never call you giant haystacks again. <laughs> for the region tomorrow. Those uh, clear blue skies today will mean a cool night, so if you're all alone, perhaps an extra blanket tonight. Anyway, I shall leave you now. Uh, don't forget to switch off, will you? Good night, sleep well, and we hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Gents outfitters. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I mean I mean Mel's one eight one nine eight or some other numbers I can't. <sighs> Brenda God, I wasn't even up. What time of the morning is this to be Don't be funny. London's in the same time zone as us. Oh <laughs> god, what's this? It's only quarter past one. Where are you? Crew? Changed your mind. What do you expect me to? Look, I know it's in Cheshire, but the other end of. Look, are there no trains? What do you mean, not in crew? <laughs> yeah, look, look, I don't care if Pamela was showing signs of a change of heart. Look. All right. No, no. No. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha! 